Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we will continue with uh, uh, logic regression, uh, and I will also talk about uh, factor variables. So let's start with uh, factor variables because it's a topic which is a little bit easier. So we have already covered dummy variables uh, that takes value zero or one, and the factor and the factor variables factor variable uh, is a non-numeric qualitative. Uh, non numeric, non numeric, uh, qualitative variable. Qualitative variable that can take only fixed, uh, a value from a fixed set. Uh, non numeric, qualitative variable um, that can take. Only some specified values, like, for example, uh, sex may be male or female, or season may be autumn, spring, or, for example, passenger class on Titanic may be first, second, third. So the list of possible values is fixed and cannot be extended. So let's work with such variables in R. Okay? Yeah. The idea is clear. We work with factor variables. Uh, they often arise in the uh, demography or sociology. So let's go back to R. First, we will create uh, factor variables from scratch, and then we will uh, transform some existing variables into factor one. Is it okay? Yeah. No. Someone asked uh, if it's possible to uh, make a, a video. And so I said no problem. So um, I will post it on YouTube and will uh, mm -hmm. send you a link. So. <laughs> First, uh, let's create, uh, we go to our studio, we go to plus new R script. I understand that uh, after half a month of a break, you have forgotten completely all the course. <laughs> so let's go to plus. Then the first thing is to find our studio on your computer. <laughs> and to check whether R is installed. We we'll have to reinstall it once again. <laughs> So we go to plus new R script or just file new file R script. Uh, and first, I create a, a factor variable from from nothing. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, the variable x take the values. I show you how to create it from nothing. X is equal, I say, factor. And then I say, yeah, no, let, let's start with some uh, vector which is not vector. Let's say a vector with 
which takes values uh, spring, spring, winter, winter, let's say, autumn, yeah, like this. So x is a vector. Uh, it's not uh, uh, factor. Yes. Why not? For example, uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, I have observations. Um, this may be um, the, um, for example, the time when you when you buy new iPhone or something, you buy one spring, two in winter, and one in autumn. Two. Why not? So, <clears throat> and uh, if I look at the structure of a vector x, yeah, if I look at the structure of vector x, it say that the vector x is character. Yeah, it's not factor. It's not yet recognized as factor, and I should uh, explicitly say to R explicitly explain that it's a factor variable. So I say, for example. I transform x from character form to special form factor. I say x is equal to factor of x. And now, if I look at the same variable, same, it's a factor with uh, three levels because uh, R has counted that we have uh, three different uh, words uh, in our vector. So it says uh, it's a factor variable with three possible levels. And now um, it seems that nothing has changed. If I ask R uh, politely to show me X, it will show spring, winter, winter, autumn. Uh, it seems that nothing has changed, but um, this um, trick has changed the behavior of many functions which work with variables. Uh, some plotting functions, uh, some uh, functions that do regression or logic regression, uh, they have changed their behavior uh, towards x because now they know that x is a factor variable and some special method would be applied to uh, a factor variable. So first let's uh, show some... Um, yeah. Once, what, what we can do with factor variables, we can't add factor variables, we can't uh, multiply them by two, say, if I type x plus x, it will give me um, a, a warning because uh, the operation plus is not uh, meaningful for factors. Uh, so some operations be, um, are now prohibited, but now some functions have uh, uh, more interesting behavior. So let's uh, uh, see what we can do with factor variables. First, we can uh, um, just uh, know, just uh, understand what are the possible value, what are the possible levels of x. So levels of our variable are autumn, spring, and winter. And now, after we have created a factor variable from scratch, and uh, um, it's more interesting to work with some real data, so we will take the titanic data set that we have considered uh, last time, yeah? Yeah, we, I, I know, we have. <laughs> so, uh, let's uh, load some packages and let's work with factor variables, see what has changed, if I, what will change if I declare a variable that it's not simply a number but a factor variable so okay now I load some libraries uh, some R packages uh, library Titanic this library contain uh, this package contain data um, about passengers uh, I will also use library dply R to do some data transformation data transformation Uh, 
what will I use more? I will use library um, car. I will use package uh, VCD. I will use uh, package GGLI. Uh, what else? I think so. Oh, and maybe I will use package SIG. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. If uh, you see some red messages, uh, if, it, if the message is saying attaching package or just warning, it's okay. Loading, it's okay. It's red, but it's okay. But if you see error, package is missing or package is not available, then you should go to tools, install packages and install it. But I think that we have already used each package at least once. Yeah. Okay, so you go to tools, install packages, you say, uh, you say GG Ali, and uh, you say install. So I just wait a little bit. Uh, this is a, a package uh, that contains uh, the data set. Uh, this package to work with data, to add new variables, to filter data. This package um, has a good conversion of levels for factor variables. For example, you can transform a factor variables with five levels to factor variable with uh, three levels. It's uh, uh, very useful when you do such things. VCD we have already used to do mosaic plots. Uh, GGLI uh, allows us to do uh, uh, scatter plot matrix and the PSIC uh, to do descriptive statistics and uh, scatter plot matrix too. I will add some comments while you are installing. Okay. Are we ready? Are we? No, 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 no. Not yet. What does this mean? Error in library. There is no package. You should install it. If you have problems, you may raise your hand. Uh, and the last description, description. descriptive, descriptive statistics. Uh, uh, and descriptive plots. But these are just comments, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may skip them completely. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
ничего страшного. Only to appear because after the time we get the copy and then get the message that we did And then you should say, oh, you should run this column and this column. You can run all of them. Uh, I read all of them. And only 12 and 14 are missing required after the download. That is right. Small problem on uh, these computers uh, from this room, maybe car. No, on your computer it should be okay. On your computer, Okay, so I think that the uh, car is requiring uh, 
the newest version of R, maybe. I don't know. So I will stop it. Okay, I will do it otherwise. No problem. To wait, uh, not to spend time to update R. I think every everything else should be okay. If you have problems with car package, it seems that uh, the R version is a little bit old that you are using, so maybe that is the case. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, Without car? Yeah, we will go without car. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it seems that it just needs a, a newer version of R. So I will skip. It's not so important. Okay, shall we continue? Okay. Yeah? Okay, so uh, let's uh, look at uh, the Titanic data set. Uh, it's called uh, Titanic test, uh, Titanic train, sorry, uh, Titanic train. Uh, I will uh, abbreviate it like TIT. TIT equal to Titanic train uh, to make shorter uh, sentences okay so now first uh, I look at the uh, at my data set glimpse it and so I see types of uh, variables I see that I have 12 variables passenger ID uh, is one two three four five five uh, survived is uh, dummy variables which is zero or one passenger class uh, three one name character sex which, uh, which is encoded like character uh, age uh, number of siblings and uh, uh, spouses uh, parch uh, it means parent parents and number of parents and uh, uh, children um, ticket uh, fare and uh, where the passenger is embarked so i have uh, here some factor variables obviously uh, sex is a factor variable i need to transform it uh, um, uh, what else is a factor variable survived is a factor variable um, name is character uh, passenger class is also a factor variable um, when you have a variable which uh, with a small possible list of values but which is numeric for example the number of parents and uh, children on board it may be considered as uh, uh, numeric or it may be considered as uh, factor variables because the list of possible values is rather small let's uh, look uh, at our variables uh, for example let's first for the moment let's look at all possible variables uh, I say uh, describe describe tit yeah. and I have yeah. Describe is a comment in uh, PSIG packages. Warnings uh, that uh, we have tried to describe uh, character variables. We have uh, stars here. Uh, for these variables, describe is uh, like meaningless. Uh, because, uh, because describe calculates numeric uh, uh, characteristics of variables like mean, number of values, median, minimum, maximum. It's uh, meaningless to calculate the minimum of names or maximum of names. Yeah. What about the parents and children using 
already. Sorry, sorry. And uh, parents and children. Yeah. Yes, Number of. You, you, you may type. Uh, you may type help. Uh, Titanic. Titanic train. And, and uh, see the documentation. Uh, what uh, uh, these variables means. Uh, um, that means number of siblings, spouses aboard, and number of parents, children aboard. So, uh, describe is a useful function for describing numeric variables. And if uh, we feed this function with non-numeric variables like um, words in buckets, it's either Southampton, uh, I don't remember other possible values, mm, like sex is male or female, it's impossible to uh, find the, uh, I don't know, the range, the mean, the maximum, the standard deviation. Such numeric characteristics are meaningful for uh, for age, for number of siblings, and not uh, meaningful for factor of character variables. Okay, so it gives warning that you have tried to describe or to calculate numeric characteristics for non-numeric variables. Okay, uh, that means that you have not attached the package C. You should type, you should press Ctrl Enter. You should type, you should press Ctrl Enter. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we controlling what? Where are we controlling what? So we see uh, that, uh, for example, uh, the minimum, let's look at minimum and maximum uh, range skew minimum and maximum yeah uh, the minimum number of uh, siblings uh, on board is zero the maximum number of siblings on board is uh, five the minimum of parents uh, plus children is zero the maximum is six so these variables they are numeric um, in their nature but the list of values is too small here we have only seven possible values, so we, we may consider them as well as uh, factor one. Okay? So they are numeric, but the list is so small that sometimes it's better to consider them as um, as factor. Okay? So uh, for non-numeric variables, for factor variables, for example, let's encode. Uh, variables uh, as factor ones where it's necessary. So survived is factor variables. Uh, passenger class is factor or numeric. Factor numeric passenger class. Numeric numeric passenger class can be business class or. No, no, it's, it's first, second. Yeah, it's first, second. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, is it numeric or factor one? Numeric. Is it mean uh, to understand whether it's numeric or not? You just uh, uh, may ask yourself whether the operation of uh, uh, plus or minus does it make sense to say that the first class plus the first class is it equal to the second class? No. no, so it's so it's factor. So if you have one child plus one child, it's uh, two children, yeah? So it's, it's numeric. Uh, it's easy to understand. If uh, the summation is meaningful, so it's numeric. If the summation is strange, yeah, it's very strange. But the first class plus first class is equal to second class. Yeah? So, uh, so name. 
Мистер Смит плюс миссис Смит. Да, это фактор. Секс – это фактор. Да, Х. Why? One year plus two years. Age of person. Yeah, age of person. One uh, one year plus two years. Yeah, I, I may add age. Yeah, number of possible uh, spouses numeric. Uh, ticket uh, uh, is uh, factor fare is. Uh, Numeric and cabin and embark and the port of uh, embarkation are uh, factors. So first, I would like to specify to say explicitly to R which variables are factors. So I say uh, Titanic, let's say two. I will uh, mutate uh, the data set Titanic. I will. I will use the function factor and I will transform uh, survived what else survived passenger class passenger cl uh, sorry mutate each yeah I will mutate a lot of variables that I will apply the factor function survived passenger class uh, sex um, I don't know, the port of um, market. So I have transformed the type of uh, these variables. So now it's a factor variables, factor variables factor variables uh, and so on yeah so the table t2 uh, contains the same data uh -huh. so the table t2 contains the same data as table t while we are still solving some problems with packages, we can have a look at, uh, at this new table T2, yes, that you, that some of you have already created, yes? So, uh, what is the difference between this T2 and T that we had initially, yes? Uh, if we have a look um, at, the, um, uh, at the data frame, yes, we see that now um, we survived is factor variable also passenger class is factor and what else uh, sex and uh, whether a person embarked or uh, in, in which uh, uh, where the person embarked yes so uh, all of these variables are factor now 
Uh, and uh, that's why now we do not have this strange mistake. We won't have this strange mistake if we run describe. We shouldn't have this mistake that some of the variables are factor ones. Oh no, we still have because we didn't. Oh yes, uh, because we didn't transform some of the variables. And the thing is that uh, when we have a look at our data frame, um, nothing changes. The data is the same, only the type of variable is different. But when uh, we are going to use these um, variables in our regressions, for instance, uh, not logistic, but random forest that also constructs um, and predicts whether a person died or survived, yes, uh, then it will be of vital importance that our variable is factor because if it is if it is not factor then we will get an error and the method won't be able to estimate the motor because this is uh, just uh, making the variables uh, factor ones is the method uh, to store them because uh, now or uh, each of uh, these variables uh, has different levels for instance like class one class two class three but when this is character, it is like a word, and when um, art tries to estimate the model, he doesn't know how to deal with this type of data, because this is not a numeric variable, and uh, he only knows how to deal with numeric variables and with factor variables. And if it is not a factor, if it is, fa uh, if it is character, then he won't be able to uh, work out uh, what, uh, which is the type, which is the right type. And that's why we have to transform it. So it is rather mechanical uh, stuff. But uh, uh, if you do not do that, uh, it won't work. This is also very important for drawing graphs because if you have, uh, yeah, if you are eager to um, graph, for instance, um, to make a facet grid comment in R. Uh, when you have several, uh, for instance, several groups like people in the first class, in the second class, in the third class, and you want to have a separate graph for each class, yes, uh, for each type of class. And uh, uh, in order to do it, you have to have a factor variable for class in your data. And then R will be able to draw this, because if it, it, it isn't made factor, it won't work also. So, let's continue. Now, uh, let's uh, uh, plot some uh, graphs. Mm, let's select some variables. For example, let me select uh, the variables that can be plotted. Uh, passenger ID is uh, meaningless uh, for plotting. Survived is interesting passenger class. Name is not interesting. Sex, age, number of si uh, sibling uh, parents. Uh, and I think maybe embarked is also interesting for plotting. So I select some variables. I say T3 is, uh, I select uh, interesting variables. I take the data set T2 and I will, uh, I may either uh, select some variables or deselect some variables. So it's easier to deselect, I think, passenger ID, uh, name, uh, Ticket, yeah, I think the selecting is easier because I have a lot of variables to select and uh, only some variables to deselect, okay? Yeah. So I will uh, write with minus, minus passenger, passenger ID, minus name, minus, uh, what else, minus ticket, ticket number, minus, say, cabin. Uh, passenger ID and everything else I will use. Okay, name, ticket, cabin. Yeah, I think I have the third data set and I may look at it. Glimpse T3. So now I have only few variables. So now I may uh, 
uh, make some plot. Uh, for example, for factor variable, uh, how may I look at uh, uh, some uh, descriptive table? I may type uh, table and look at, for example, the variable uh, survived. Yeah? Uh, and I see that uh, there are 549 persons that have not survived and 342 persons that have survived. Or if I type table, uh, data set Titanic 3 uh, passenger class, I may look at the distribution of passengers um, the most uh, popular passenger uh, the most popular class is uh, the third class um, and uh, it's interesting that the least popular is the second class yeah okay so now I think we are ready to make some uh, plot. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the number of observations for each possible level of factor variable. Now, what can we plot? Uh, I think that we can plot something like uh, something. Yeah, let us see. Pairs. Are we ready to make some plots? Yeah. Okay. I think pairs panels and let's say T three. I think it will work. Yeah, it's too small on my computer, but I think I may I will zoom it after some seconds. Okay. Yeah. Pairs, panels, and uh, may I zoom? Yeah. Yeah. I just wait that you copy the common pairs, panels. When you have a lot of variables. It's rather hard to visualize them all uh, because you have a lot of variables. But yeah, I may zoom. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It will go. I think when I zoom, I may obtain. Okay. So let's look at the plot and think uh, uh, Pairs plot uh, draws us a lot of uh, uh, scatter plots and a lot of histograms and it calculates automatically uh, correlation but uh, it's uh, invisible I can uh, automatically uh, sample correlations are calculated but they are invisible on my uh, screen yeah. so for example uh, I have I see the small uh, histogram of age yeah uh, I see uh, the small histogram of uh, uh, sex passenger class uh, survived and so on um, but uh, this plot is, uh, you see, there are a lot of variables and uh, um, it's too hard to um, to understand something with uh, such small plots. So we will further sub-select some variables. Let's mix uh, uh, numeric and factor variables. So I will take, for example, age, uh, number of sibling, uh, siblings and uh, parents and I will take some factor variables like passenger class, sex and survive. Let's, let's take six variables. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. And what are these the ones in red? 
Yeah, once in red, it uh, R automatically uh, calculates uh, correlation between variables and automatically draws uh, which is called lowest curve so a smoothing curve which uh, uh, a curve with, which resembles the data the most so uh, there are a lot of points but there are uh, too many points there uh, and uh, here so the smoothing curve goes like this okay so the red curve is a smoothing curve so the big center is a big uh, red dot um, and uh, these uh, um, ellipse, ellipses uh, is, uh, uh, has the goal to show the correlation so if it has a negative slope so we can understand that the correlation is negative uh, and so on okay so but let's look further at some so I sub-select some more variables to see something which is more understandable. I take subset of T3 and I drop uh, and I drop uh, fair. I drop uh, embarked. I think to I will stay with only six variables. Subset. Minus. Ah, sorry, not subset, select. Select, select, select. The same operation. Subset of variables with common select. Now I will uh, plot uh, the pairs panel. Uh, this uh, plot is uh, works very well for numeric variables. With for numeric variables it's very useful when you have a lot of numeric variables it's okay i have another function which is a little bit slower uh, we will see that it is slower but it will uh, deal correctly with the factor variables so i if i say gg pairs uh, tit4 i will obtain another plot and yeah, it, it's a little bit slower, but it will work correctly with uh, factor variables. Okay, so GG uh, So I have sub uh, selected uh, six variables out of eight. Um, and now I used another comments for making the scatter plot. It's called uh, scatter plot matrix. Um, are we ready to zoom it? Yeah. Uh, GGPair function is located in uh, uh, GGLA package. So what do we see? Uh, for factor variables, we see uh, good big histograms. For numeric variable like age, we see uh, smoother, smooth density. Uh, we see correlation, but only for numeric variables because correlation uh, is uh, meaningless for factor variables. And we see that uh, the variables, uh, the number of parents uh, uh, and uh, children, and the number of sibling uh, spouses is, uh, mm, uh, it has uh, some very uh, frequent values like 0, 1 or 2. And other values, for example, of variable parents 
I have a lot of uh, persons who have traveled with zero parents uh, on board, uh, some persons who have traveled with one parent or uh, child aboard, um, and uh, some persons who have traveled with two parents or two children on board. But there are very few persons with uh, three or more uh, parents or children aboard. Okay. So to uh, <coughs> simplify uh, presentation, I may aggregate some levels. So I may say uh, zero, one, two, or more. And here's the same thing: the number of uh, siblings. Uh, the most frequent number of siblings is zero. Uh, the second uh, frequent number is one sibling or one uh, spouse and uh, two siblings. And the number of uh, persons who have three, four, and so on, uh, number of siblings is too small. So I may aggregate these levels uh, to obtain uh, something which is more, uh, more understandable. So I see that the distribution of age between survived, uh, between uh, not survived and survived is a little bit different, yeah? between non-survived uh, the peak at uh, 12 uh, at 20 plus one or plus two years is bigger so now I may aggregate some categories for parents and siblings okay Let's look at the uh, uh, variable uh, parents, children. So indeed, I have a lot of uh, families, uh, a lot of persons with zero value for parents, uh, a lot of persons with one parent or child on board, and a few values which are bigger. So, I may say, for example, label this category 2 plus and say 3, C, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, I may record them as uh, 2, okay? Yeah. So, let's record this category. I will add these values to this one and call uh, the level 2 plus. Two Parent, two parents, children, or more. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I say tit four. Oh no, T5. Yeah, the the data uh, the table number five. So T5. I have already T4. So I say mutate. I will mutate my data frame. I start from T4, and I create a new variable. Uh, new variable parent child. And let's call it uh, parch uh, parch parch two. Yeah. So the new variable patch, patch two, patch two, it will be equal. If the number is less than two, it should be, it should not be changed. But if uh, the number of uh, children is greater than two, then I will uh, change it to two. Okay. So I say uh, if else, if, if else, no, if else, if else, patch is greater than two, I will say that it's equal to two. Yeah, I will replace values 
that are greater than 2 by 2. And otherwise, I will use old value. So, okay, what, what this operation will do? I will create a new variable, which is called patch2. Uh, if patch is equal than 2, it will have the value 2. If not, so I will keep the old value, okay? And I will do the same thing with uh, uh, the variable um, with the variable, uh, the number of six. siblings, yeah, it's, the variable is called, uh, uh, sibs, yeah, sibs, sibs2 is equal to sibs if it's small, and I replace bigger values by 2, so I have recorded uh, the values to simplify the vis vis visualization. Uh, now we are ready to make an as a plot. We omit, uh, so <coughs> let's say T7, I select from T6, I deselect all the variables SIPs and PARCH. And now I, yeah, yeah. So SIPs is the number of siblings and PARCH is the number of children plus parents. So I have recorded the values. I omit all the oops, sorry. I omit all the variables from my data frame, and now I'm ready to plot once again. To uh, and. Uh, Sorry, I forgot to do one thing to uh, to say to ours that uh, this variable is factor one, yeah, because uh, if it has only three values, uh, now these values are zero, one, two or more, yeah, zero, one, two or more, and now they are factor uh, because um, I can't do. Uh, simple, uh, uh, simple operations like add them or subtract because the category two or more um, can't be. It's not simple. New, uh, it's not simple number. It's now two. We just a code for two or more. Yeah. Now it's not two children, but two or more. So I will say that uh, these variables are factor. Yeah, I will say T8 is mutate T7, and I say that parch2 is factor of parch2, and uh, sipsp2 is factor sipsp2. And now my, I think, final, yeah, I think it will be final plot.
So I transform the type of a variable. I say I explicitly say that it's factor variable. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let me zoom the plot. Yeah, what do we see on this big plot? Yeah, let's look at it. So the most important, I think, is the first row because it uh, says uh, who has more chances uh, or first row or first column uh, because the first row, first column just says who has more chances, uh, chances to survive. So we see the distribution, uh, the histogram that uh, more than a half uh, people has died. Uh, the distribution of survivors versus passenger class uh, between uh, those who have not survived. Yeah, I, I have zero here. Uh, they almost all go from the third class. Yeah, and the distribution uh, of survived persons uh, between. Uh, classes is uh, kind of uniform yeah so what do we see the distribution of service of survival versus uh, sex uh, so if you are female uh, if you are female uh, you have greatest chance, uh, chances to survive if you are male uh, you have greater chances to die so the distribution of age uh, seems pretty close. Yeah, this is box plot. Maybe these uh, these who have not survived are a teeny bit older, I think. Yeah, these who have not survived are a little bit older, but this difference is not significant. Uh, so. This is, I think, uh, there is a small uh, statistic, uh, statistical uh, correlation, small statistical link between the number of uh, uh, children and uh, ch uh, chances to survive. If you have, uh, uh, if uh, you survive, probably you have uh, no children and uh, uh, no parents on board so if you if uh, so this proportion of persons without uh, parents or children on board is higher among people who have uh, not survived yeah who have not survived okay uh, and uh, what else can be Said, I think. Yeah, we may. Uh, this graph contains a lot of information, and uh, sometimes uh, it's easy to draw one big plot and uh, to look and to see something uh, funny on it. Okay. So let's make a break. I think. And we will continue in 10 minutes.